Hello, I am Marlene Fudge and I just wanted to share with you today a quick demo on the technique that I use to paint the little daisies on my forget-me-not and daisies design. I like to start with a filbert number two to paint the little petals. And we're going to use warm white. So you're going to dip your brush into water, dab it onto a paper towel, and load it with white. And when you start with your little petals, you're going to start laying the brush flat against the, the surface. And when you pull it in towards the center, you're going to slowly twist and pull up onto the chisel edge to make a nice stroke. I like to reload for every petal. And you're just slowly going to work your way around the daisy. You can turn your surface as needed and pull them in. It really is an easy stroke and a quick way to do these little daisies since there's so many petals on the design. Doing it in one stroke makes it a lot more doable. So you're going to lay it flat slowly twist and come up to a point so those petals meet in the middle. You're not going to come all the way into the center but you're going to come right over the edge so that when you add your center it looks like the petals are going into it. And turn and reload. You can make them go different directions here and there as many as you like. So then we have that. And then once that is dry, we're going to shade around the center. And for this I like to use either a number four or a number six shader or flat. Again, you're going to dip that into water, dab some of the water off onto a paper towel. And for this one you're going to, to load Payne's Gray and a little bit of sapphire and you're going to mix that together to make a darker blue. And when you load your brush you're going to load it halfway. Just dip it in on the edge. You don't want to come all the way across and then dab it onto your palette. And Then you're going to take the side that has most of the color towards the center you're going to lay your brush flat onto the surface and you're just going to float that around the center to give it a little bit of color. Then add your shadow around the edges of the daisies where they come into the center and go all the way around so you have a nice little shadow there. Then you're going to take a number two round brush and you're going to load that with mustard seed. And that's what we add the center with. Just add a circle, or actually an oval, of mustard seed for your center. And then it looks like all where you just shaded those petals, it looks like they're tucked down underneath that center area. When this is dry, you're going to shade, you're going to pick which side is the bottom actually. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but we'll say this is the bottom edge. It doesn't really have a bottom or a top, but we're just going to pick one. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to take your number four shader, you're going to load it halfway with paint, and then you're going to lay the loaded side down towards the bottom and just float the color. Need a little more paint on there. You're just going to float that color, and this is actually raw sienna along the bottom. And then when you highlight the top edge, you're going to do it exactly the same way, and you're going to use summer squash. And you're going to give a little highlight of summer squash on the top. And that's it quick and easy way to make daisies and when you add it all together they look beautiful so thanks for watching happy painting